So you feed corn to cattle. And E. coli, which is a very common bug, evolves. And a certain mu mutation occurs. And a strain called E. coli 0157H7 appears uh, on the world stage. And it's a product of the diet we're feeding cattle on feedlots, and it's the product of feedlot life. The animals stand ankle deep in their manure all day long, so that if one cow has it, the other cows will get it. When they get to the slaughterhouse, their hides are caked with manure. And if the slaughterhouse is slaughtering 400 animals an hour, how do you keep that manure from getting onto those carcasses? And that's how the manure gets in the meat. And now this thing that wasn't in the world, it's in the food system. The industrial food system is always looking for greater efficiency, but each new step in efficiency leads to problems. If you take feedlot cattle, off of their corn diet, give them grass for five days, they will shed 80% of the E. coli in their gut. But of course, that's not what the industry does. The industry's approach is, when it has a, a systematic problem like that, is not to go back and see what's wrong with the system. It's to come up with some high-tech fixes that allow the system to survive. This is our operations center. We control all of our plants from here. Where's Chicago? Like, here's a Chicago, Georgia, Utah, Kansas, Nebraska, Texas, LA, Ohio. We control oil levels of the gearboxes, the speed of motors, and we can change those all from here. We built something that, you know, from a food safety standpoint, we think we're ahead of everybody. We think we can lessen the, the incidence of E. coli 0157H. So I just started working with ammonia and ammonia hydroxide. Ammonia kills bacteria. So it became a processing tool. I'm really a mechanic. That's really what I am. We design our own machinery. finished product. Is your meat in most of the hamburgers in the country? 70%. In five years, we think we'll be in 100%. We do have some competitors. I think we're going to beat them. <laughs> You know, it's again, it's a marriage of science and technology. Thank you. Thank you.